Mind you, there were a few text messages last night, Spud. You were pretty... Yeah, yeah you were animated that, on text yeah, last no, night, I was, uh, I was up and about, and uh, I was looking forward to the game. It was a terrific game, let's face it. Um, at, at the 20-minute mark, you just think, where are Collingwood going to buy their next goal? All of a sudden, they're midfield, they got into it. you got a theory on this, Spud. Well, I have. I've got a theory. Yeah. You want me to go with it? Yeah, I'd like you to go with it. Well, the I think it's off the top worthy. Well, the theory is that um, the backman now... Have gone hey, forward. Hey, Spud, go with it properly. Right. Don't, don't go with it all well, considered. I've, I back up the back one, guys, right? Not really? Now, they're all saying now, this forward line craft is pretty easy. Oh, <laughs> because <laughs> Harry Taylor just swans down there for Geelong and just goes, bang, clunks yeah. a couple, four or five. <laughs> yeah. Jakey Carlisle, the Bombers, he just says, hey, young Hurls, you're struggling with it. Give me a go. <laughs> bang, two BOGs. And then last night, Reedy, who I, I think is a fantastic player, Ben Reid goes down, three goals in ten minutes, turns the game on its ear, game over. So you're saying it's... Well, Gary's always said that the toughest place in the world to play football is as a tall forward. You're saying now d- defenders can drift down there and do it on their ear? It is, because it used to be. Not anymore, Gaz. Jim, let me <laughs> tell you what this is. For. What? Occasionally someone will... Yes. Sounds like will roll out at night, yes. go to a club and stumble across a Super Bowl. Yes. <laughs> And his first night, he'll get the job done in a big, big way because it's all new to him right. and he just, he'll just he satisfy her to the point where she'll walk off with yes, a big smile on her right, face. Yes. Going back and performing week oh. in, week out, is a whole different matter. Now, what I'm saying is they've got a couple of shots away, Spud, where it's all been, but hey. Backing it up and keeping her happy for another year is a different matter. Let's wait and see where these blokes are after they've played their four well, weeks in a row. I just think the swing man is the, uh, the new thing in AFL footy because Taylor, Carlisle, we've talked about that for three or four weeks and a lot of people have been putting on the agenda. You probably put it on Gaz a couple of days after I did, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but Reid's gone forward. And look, we interviewed Sam Reid last week. We did. I think he needs to go back and, and find his form yes. and then go forward again. As we go to the break, uh, should Mark Murphy have played? Not on last night's performance. Well, we need to uh, get to the break because <laughs> social media has blown up. I need a bit of oil in this. Spud's photo has gone live online and people have absolutely come from everywhere to have a piece of it. Oh, look at the pack have gone silly over this. They just can't get enough of Spud. Nathan Buckley the is to join us next. Brad Scott, Damien Hardwick, a big, big show on the way. Shut up, Spud. <laughs>